inside the circle shot. I know, baby. I wanted to write this one up here. 152 pounds, Sean. We got ourselves. We got a good weight class here. Some Otterbine love. Got some colleges. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Colleges loving what we do. It makes it easy access for them. They get to know some names, some people, and they appreciate it. And, and then, names. Boom. They don't put faces with names yet until. You know what I was thinking when you're like, inside the circle when you go see people? Yeah. See, it's like good cop, bad cop. You're like the good cop, and I'm like the bad cop. I'll take that. I'll take it. Just put me on the positive side. I'm a happy man. Sean, so we've side. got ourselves a, a, um, a little under undercover work here. Someone that no one knows about. I think oh, it's going to shoot out of here. I don't know about no one knows about. Like, they've watched the show. Oh, they've watched That's true. They've watched this guy winning multiple tournaments. Yeah, well, let's introduce the field. See if you can note the undercover guy here. Here we go. Flanagan from Olin Tangy. Fabro from Taze Valley. Deweesh from Hilliard Davidson. Morton from Westerville South. Russell Lima Sr. Chris from Westerville North. Watkins Memorials Cameron. And the Candyman Can. Trifellas from Upper Arlington. Then we have Marsh, Stang, Mullinex, and Ratliff. And then the final quarter is Limerick, Limerick, Barker, Mays, and Thornsbury. Sean, we've got these guys coming out. As we go through the quarterfinals, you break down the field. Go. 152 pound weight class is actually a very entertaining weight class to me. I think you have a lot of possibilities here. The top three guys are very good. Obviously, the top one is going to be hard to beat if possible. Mm -hmm. But I see a lot of close, exciting matches, and I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't some. Um, Friday night upsets, what do we call those things? Not fireworks. Friday night fireworks, Friday night baby! Night fireworks here. Yeah! We'll, Hashtag! We'll pick up the action here in the quarterfinals and go from there. Okay! Alright, let's do it! Flanagan Morton! Flanagan Morton here. Flanagan coming off that solid sectional win. Definitely. Morton himself had a great tournament, a great sectional as well over at Newark. Just came up a little short to a yep. very solid Thornsbury. In that quarter, we're going to go with Morton. These guys might have wrestled in the dual meet. Morton, Westerville South. I mean, shades of Lanesa. Shades of Lanesa. Let's go, Russell the Candyman. Let's go. Oh, I think we're going to hashtag that. Oh! Well, you know what's interesting? Russell Stover, Trifellus. Interesting. We're going to hashtag this. Okay. Go ahead. Mark, you were up at Marysville. You've seen Russell wrestle. You know, we've heard a lot about this guy. Again, we talked about him a couple months ago when he started winning Marion Harding. Yep. He went in a couple other tournaments. He does have a win over Hunter Thornsbury, 12-9. Yes, let me tell you where, um, let me tell you the positives about young Mr. Russell here. The young man is a great balance of power and, uh, like, ba I want to say balance, but I already used that word. But he's able to, if you're, if you're pushing into him, he's able to move one way and get you to fall down. But if you don't push enough, he can come around on the other side and take you down. His double leg is something, it's a thing of beauty. And when he's underneath you and you think you're going one way or the other way, he's going to take you and get you taken down. Okay. He's going to take you down. The kid is solid. All right. Don't know another way to say it. Okay. Mm, so All you want right. me to pick the winner? Alright. Well, I didn't know you wanted that, Sean. I'm going to pick Russell from Lima Senior, the kid. I've seen both these guys wrestle, and you know, just call it a hunch. I'm telling you, Stout's going to blow me up on this one. I'm sure he is. I love you, Stout. I also love the Candyman Trifellas, but I think in this case, Russell's going to win. If that's a problem, go back and watch the PSA, and we'll move forward from there. <laughs> Go ahead, Sean. Pick the easy ones in. Hey, I think Marsh. That is kind of easy. Gotcha. Marsh, Marysville. And then we'll have Thornsbury moving out as well. Oh, wow. What an incredible semifinals match, Sean. Oh, I want to see this. <laughs> wow. Uh, if you said it a little differently, it would have been a little funnier. Here we go. Uh, these guys coming over here. We got Deweese Limmerman, Crosstown Rivals. We've got Chris. And Ratliff, we got Mullinex and Trifellas and Flanagan and Mays Shaw. What's Go. the theme? Uh, pick, pick the easy one. Okay, we'll start at the bottom here. We'll have Flanagan winning. Ooh, Flanagan from Olentangy. We'll have the Candyman Trifellas. Flanagan Trifellas. All right. We're going to go with Chris here. Mm, are, you, are you sure about that? Yeah, no, that can't be right. Yep. Something's wrong here. Okay. Chris? Loses, yep. Nope. Loses the first round. Gotcha. I think it's just Chris. Whoosh. Boom. Westerville North. Oh, it is. And then we're going to go to Deweese here at the top. Ooh. That's a solid win over Maisie Hat in the uh, third place match out of Marysville. I agree with that. 
Now, if, hey, if you could have seen Davidson wrestling, they were wrestling inspired, man. It was something beautiful. Let's go. Let's we're going to stay up at the top here and get Chris losing in the first round, getting back into a go-to match. That takes some heart, baby. That takes some heart. Middle fortitude. Try Trifellas and Flanagan. What a match. That is going to be a match. If we could hashtag it, we would. We're but gonna we go, don't. We're going to go Trifellas here coming down from 60. This guy's going to be big on day two. He's already athletic and strong. I can't imagine uh, the chore he's going to be on day two. <sighs> big time. Sean, these guys need opponents. We get those from the semifinal losers. Let's move this out. We're going to start here on the bottom and go with Marsh. I mean, I think it's pretty clear he's the guy to beat here. You've got it. Marsh, Marysville. Let's talk up here. And you've talked about Russell's style. I think you were describing Morton to me. Two of the same guys that are athletic, always willing to go for it. You just never know what's going to happen. That will be a very entertaining match. If you're able to watch that because your kid is not wrestling at that certain time, watch this semifinal match. There will be a lot of fireworks in that match. I'm going to go with Russell. All righty, Russell. Lima Sr. Boom, we've now had Morton coming over here from Westerville South, and we also have Thornsbury up top. Thornsbury in a go-to match. He's from Newark. Boom. Break it down to me, Sean. We're going to start at the bottom. This is just it seems to be the year of the Wildcats. We're going to go with Thornsbury to get to the third place match. I gotcha, UA. Okay. Thornsbury's a long name, so just give me one quick second to write all this out. Thornsbury, Newark. All right. And in this one, you know, these guys were wrestled a couple times. I think that I'm going to go with Morton, but God, this is a match that oh, truly could go either way. This gotcha. is a total coin flip match, especially coming off that big emotional match he had with uh, Russell. Yes, the 45-minute rule could come go. into effect. Chris, wow, Crosstown Rivals there in Westerville. Unbelievable. Now we have them 5-3-1. Sean, let's pick those winners. We're going to go with Trafalis getting fifth. I can dig it. Thornsbury getting third. That's a long name, so just give me one quick second here. Thornsbury, Newark. All right. And Jake March as your 152-pound champion. What's his brother's name? Caleb. Caleb. Watch the show. Gotcha. Just like mashed potatoes. <laughs> it's just easy that time. Sometimes. Your champion, 152 pounds, Jake Marsh. Runner-up, Russell from Lima Senior. Third, Thornsbury takes third place. Morton is your state qualifier, rounding it out. State alternate is Trifellas from Upper Arlington. And Chris from Westerville North is your sixth place district. And now you are inside the circle.